All right, we've got another basement update. My carpenter was back today. We've got some more stuff done. It's always a more calm and sedate day, but that's all right. As you can see, or maybe you can't, but soon will be, we've got these edge pieces up along the edges. And I believe he said both floaters were completely done. So you can see here on the bottom, it looks really nice. All the way over here, coming around on this side, it's all done. Along these sections here, and then the same thing on this one. And vertically, that looks really good. And then over on this side here, we're also done. Um, he had to get some different material because the floor was so uneven by the wall that we had to rise up so high there that he couldn't get it with just one piece of molding. So he had to get something larger and cut it in half. He's working on that. And then tomorrow we'll also get in these guys. This one looks like it's loose. You get that one in plus the other ones up along the wall. And at that point, we'll be able to start painting. And we discussed the paint issues, and he had a really good idea. And I'll show you what he was talking about. So, on these floating sections, I wasn't sure how to paint these tall end cappy pieces. What we're going to do is, on the outside edge, and probably the two edges, the thin edges, we'll paint it wall color, or the off-white. And on the inside, we'll paint it black. So it kind of is invisible from this side. We're not even going to bother painting this surface up here because, well, you can't see it. So we'll paint this surface and then we'll paint some of these too, but not all the way back because once the drawer units are actually on the top one, we probably will because the drawer units will come give a little bit of a gap like this because you have to have room to put them in and slide them down. Um, so we'll probably paint back at this point and along the top and then over here we'll paint a couple inches in from the front, but we don't really need to paint all the way far back because those drawer units will be in the way. Uh, and then, so same thing through here, we will probably paint both sides of this slat black. And because of that, we might go black from this point up on the molding. I'm not certain. I think that might look better than trying to just do that one little strip in the white. Uh, and then the walls around the outside edge, once we get the, the molding bits on them, we will probably do similarly. Uh, although that one, it's not really all that high up. Uh, it's just basically high enough up to attach to the wall, or the ceiling rather. So that is the plan. He will have to also get some shelves made for me. He has not done that yet. We actually talked about that he's going to use a different type of material for the actual shelves. It will be, it'll come you know, pre-painted essentially. Uh, it'll look white. So that'll be easier and, and plenty easy to deal with. Unfortunately, all four sections that have the adjustable shelves have different widths. So it's just a pain there, but that's the way that goes. Um, so yeah, um, very soon we'll be working on hanging the drawer units, although we're just going to use the same eight, I think, get all the holes or all the screws up so that then I can place them how I want them. Then we have to do a deep clean down here to get rid of all the sawdust and whatnot. And I'm going to be probably starting to work on getting labels ready for the drawer unit. So that's something I'm going to put some brain power to is exactly how I'm going to label everything so that it all ends up in order. Um, because I'm going to have, you know, the adjustable shelves for totes over here. That's actually going to be the first section. So I got to figure out how that's going to be done. And then so on and so forth continually through all this. And I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it to make it work the way I want. But I've got some time. I've got a few days to figure this out. But that's how it goes right now. Again, if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below. I appreciate all the communication. And some of you actually will message me in other ways. And so it doesn't always show up as a message down below. And I appreciate that. And thank you very much.